There was a big hearing today on Capitol Hill in front of the House Financial Services Committee, and the star witness was supposed to be Sam Bankman Free, the founder of collapsed cryptocurrency exchange FTX, testifying virtually from his home in the Bahamas. But instead, he was arrested in the Bahamas yesterday at the request of the U.S. government. So here's the question. Why couldn't they wait 24 more hours so that lawmakers could question him? That would have allowed them to have more comments from him on the record that could be used against him in court as well. The company fell apart a month ago. Did something else happen that required them to move in immediately? Prosecutors in the Southern District of New York charged Freed today officially with eight counts, including wire fraud, conspiring to defraud the United States, and maybe most surprisingly, for violating campaign finance laws. They say he made political donations using fake names. The Securities and Exchange Commission also filed charges of their own, alleging that since 2019 he misled investors who committed nearly $2 billion to FTX while also defrauding customers. Now, since the collapse, Bankman Freed had been holed up in his Bahamian luxury compound in Nassau, and he's been doing a lot of interviews, like a lot. Here's what he told the BBC over the weekend. I didn't knowingly commit fraud. I don't think I committed fraud. I didn't want any of this to happen. Um, I was certainly not nearly as competent as I thought I was. Well, that may not be enough of a defense. The maximum potential prison time stemming from these charges is like 115 years. Members of Congress are ready to go after him in today's hearing. Both sides of the aisle expressed disappointment and even frustration. Republican Lee Zeldin tweeting out, House GOP was ready to grill him six ways to Sunday. Why not allow him to testify first tomorrow and answer our many questions? Democratic Congressman Maxine Waters, the chair of the Financial Services Committee, said, quote, although Mr. Bankman Freed must be held accountable, the American public deserves to hear directly from him about the actions that have harmed over a million people and wiped out the hard-earned life savings of so many. And Bankman Freed's prepared statement to Congress was leaked. He began his statement saying, that he, quote, effed up, but went on to blame everyone else. At one point saying, quote, I got bad legal advice. It was a really stressful situation with messages coming from many people. He claimed the company was still fully solvent and that he never should have agreed to file for bankruptcy. He planned to say, quote, I wish I had not clicked on a button on DocuSign at 4.30 a.m., leaving some of FTX under destructive leadership. Now, some have even gotten more conspiratorial claiming the political left somehow wanted to silence Bankman Freed, who has donated millions to Democrats. Fox's Jesse Waters throwing this out last night. So he threw millions at Biden, got the Democrats elected in the Senate, and then everything blew up and Biden had him arrested before he could talk. But that, of course, ignores that the campaign finance law violations he's charged with, which seem to be for major donations to Republicans, stemming from this comment that he made in an interview. I do need about the same amount of both parties to do. That was not generally known. No one can possibly fathom the idea that someone in practice actually gave dark. So, I don't know, all my Republican donations were dark. You know, joining me now is Dr. Thomas Hogan, former chief economist for the U.S. Senate Banking Committee, who is now a senior research faculty member at the American Institute of Economic Research. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so, you know, we wanted a guest with interesting thoughts on why they couldn't wait 24 hours. And you were one of the few who actually had some interesting theories and thoughts on this. So lay it out for us. Why do you think that they couldn't, they wouldn't, they didn't want to wait the 24 hours, let him testify before arresting him. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I think you're right to emphasize why this is so unusual and, and kind of suspicious. I mean, as you mentioned, the fall of FTX happened more than a month ago. It was the first week of November when people started saying that FTX was potentially insolvent. Uh, customers started withdrawing funds. The the company basically went bankrupt and, you know, SBF was fired and then replaced the new CEO, John Ray, started on November 11th. So that's more than a month right, ago. Right. And as you mentioned, SBF has been out there talking and doing interviews and been in the media. So why is it that this why? happened 
just the day before that he's about to testify. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.